Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to do a what's in my journal pouch. I feel like I do one of these each year. So, um, I actually got this pouch last year, but I want to wait till now so I could actually do one each year. Um, so, I've been looking for like the perfect journal pouch and for a while it was the Delphonics pouch, but I'll be honest with you. I can't find my small or extra small pouches. They gotta be here somewhere. Cause I kinda I, I moved back home and I haven't seen them since. <laughs> but I have the medium one, which I'm gonna start using like in the summertime because since it's so big I can have my supplies and journal in one and kinda use use it as a bag, which I think is really cute. So I was just randomly scrolling through the local stationery shop here. And then I saw that they were gonna sell these. And this is the Hoponichi drawer pouch. So I saw it and I saw that they were gonna sell it until like a week later. So I spent that week just looking at photos and videos and trying to see if this was something that I wanted or not. And obviously it's yellow, so I was like, hello, perfect. And obviously I did get it. The setup, I'm just gonna show you. Um, the inside it is like a book style and it reminds me of those like passport holders that I used to see everywhere when I first started uh, getting into journaling and at one point at one point <laughs> I was actually gonna get one of those but the ones that they sold like here were really ugly and I wasn't used to like buying things online yet <laughs> so I just did not get it but I did get I had to google this but I did get the um, webster's pages folio like the what's called webster's page color rush folio i'm not even sure if they make those anymore because when i google it i could only find them on ebay so let me show you what's in mine i actually wanted to do like an unboxing and transfer everything i have into this when i first got, got first got it back in like november december but I'm glad I didn't because I spent a long time trying to figure out how to set everything up and even now I'm like still like tweaking here and there because since it is like a pocket it needs to like close and I don't like it when it's too bulky you know but now I think it's like I'm happy with it now but it might change in the future um let me just on the outside I have a button the frog and potty hat this I got out of flea market and this me and my friend did for our boba like cup sleeve event so I have a ton of these and I put them everywhere this patch which I got from studio Arhoi in Copenhagen on the inside I have some pins because I can't and it will still close so this I got in studio Arhoi as well this my friend got for me when she went to the Met. I asked her if she could buy this for me. And I really like it. And then this little cow I got in Sweden. Um, so there are a couple of things that I don't keep in this anymore. Just for like... So it's not that bulky. And one of them is my tape runner. And these pair of scissors. So instead, I I will show you what I have instead. But on this side first, there are three slots. And all of the slots go like um, all the way down, if that makes sense. But in the top one, like it will go all the way down. But in the top one, I have my sticker release paper. And just a craft folder for paper bits. And more stickers and more paper and just a bunch of stickers in the second one I have some washi tape samples this little folder with pictures that has like words on them and my little paper trash can that I had since forever so I kind of want to make a new one because it's starting to fall apart. And the last one here, just have paper clipped some smaller pieces of paper. 
and then there's this pocket right here so the main thing i have is this i mean it takes up the whole space but it has all my photos that are my printable printable photos and since the majority of my journal is photos i just wanted like a tin that will fit all them even though it will take up a lot of space in my pouch but i just i prefer it like this so i just have like all of my photos and this is a nice size because i don't use photos that are bigger than this size for my journal if that makes sense and then i have my spotify codes here honestly there was stuff in this tin but i got it just for the tin itself just a nice size and then the rest it's not that interesting oh where's my oh here's i forgot to put back my double-sided tape if you've been following me for a little bit you know that the, the double-sided tape was the og <laughs> so we're going back to the original it does take a little bit longer to apply because you know i have to peel it cut it and then peel it the backing off versus just whoosh with the double-sided tape no oh, the tape runner but um that is something i'm used to so yeah and then i have my clips i really like these i do i did recently got get this one it's just a penko plastic clip which i like to use for these i just have to keep my um journal pages <laughs> the last but not least a small pair of scissors i got these from aliexpress and they're really tiny but honestly they work they do what i need them to do and they're small So let me just show you that everything will fit back in here. Put the clips there. Just everything up there. So I can put my tin in the bottom. I'm gonna put the double sided tape here. It is a little bit weird, but when I close it, it should be fine. And then here, just like to wiggle around a little bit. And there we go. So that is everything that I have in my journal pouch. I really like it. I like that it's the same size as my journal. Kinda. It's like it's the same profile. So this is everything I need um, when I go out and journal. So if there's any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and I will try and answer as quickly as possible. Until next time, I hope you guys have a good day, good evening, good night, wherever you are. And I will talk to you soon. Bye!